And we're here this morning <coughs> talking to Natil Taylor, a physical therapist and author of Functional Pilates, a wife and a mother of two. Welcome, Natil. Thank you. Natil, first of all, let me ask you, what inspired you to write your book? What inspired me to write my book? I've been teaching Pilates uh, around the community for several years now. And a lot of my participants and clients were wanting more advancement um, from where they have been and a little bit of ba more background knowledge. And the biggest thing was is that they were actually coming to me wanting their friends and family throughout the country, um, having the opportunity to be able to learn this uh, wonderful beginner's Pilates. And so I saw it as an opportunity to create um, this book that I'm able to email anywhere in the world basically. Um, and the, the best thing about this book is that it actually gets into a real basic foundation for everybody so that everybody can learn it. Very good. And it's an e-book, isn't it? Absolutely. The best thought is the fact that it's an e-book so it's it can go anywhere. It can go anywhere in the world, from New Zealand to Australia, all the way up to America and Canada. Very good. So, Natil, can you give us a little bit of background about how you got involved as a, physio, a physical therapist mm -hmm. and Hence, Pilates yeah. instructor. Absolutely. Uh, I trained as a physiothera or physical therapist 15 years ago uh, due to a uh, rather large participation in sport and thought the great, uh, what I actually saw was the great uh, knowledge that a physiotherapist has taking people from a disability uh, through to back to their full desires and their full function. And so, through the years of training as a physiotherapist, I found that. I need a little bit more expertise, especially around the core area um, and into function of people's daily lives. So uh, that's when I completed my Pilates training. And, and the best bit about the Pilates training gave a nice structure to enhancing people's lives. And so through, through that, um, I can see the great advantages into people's lives um, using Pilates as an exercise uh, a foundation for exercise. Very good. So if you had one secret to give to um, everybody as regards a health secret, health what would that be? Ooh, a little good tip. Yes. Um, okay. Um, a great tip would be to actually take action. It's all very well getting the DVDs and getting the books, but the best thing is to put it into action. And the best way to put it into action is to break it down into small little chunks. So actually just contributing 10 minutes a day and committing yourself to 10 minutes a day um, will lead to greater things for you. Very good and I guess once you get those 10 minute blocks you can then have perhaps two lots of 10 minutes during Absolutely. the day or three lots of 10 Absolutely. minutes especially for busy mums. Yep and, and that's exactly where I am at the moment. I'm a mum to a two year old and a three year old and so time for me is very precious and so what I tend to do is break it down into small chunks. So I might do a little bit in the morning before the kids get up and then there might be an opportunity in the afternoon. And I actually incorporate the kids into my daily exercise regime at that point in time. Oh, so interesting. Yeah, yeah. And, and the best thing about that is that by incorporating the kids into it, the kids actually learn that exercise is part of their daily lives. Very good. Mm. So, Natalia, just to finish off, mm -hmm. what other ventures do you have for the future? Do you see any other opportunities? Oh, there's there? lots of opportunities in the future. Um, because people, people are starting to want to lead healthier lives because they realise by having a healthier life they actually enjoy their lives a lot more. And so what we're looking at doing in, in the future is actually having intermediate and advanced ebooks um, and looking at bringing the audio into that. So um, having been able to put it onto your iPod. So when you go to the gym or if you're sitting at home doing it, you can put it into your iPod and then you can actually listen to me creating the exercises for you, giving you tips. And then from there we're actually looking at doing that with a little bit more uh, advancement. So not just using Pilates but adding other exercises into, into that Very as well. Good. Thank you. Natil, wonderful information there and we look forward to all your future ventures. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Time. Thank you for your time. It's wonderful.